हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम so now let's see how we can check the windows auto patch deployment reports so to do this we have to go to the report section and under reporting section we have to go to the windows auto patch report and within that we have windows quality update report and we have to click that and now we can see that we have total two devices and roll in windows auto patch service and out of this one device is showing up to date with the latest patch and one device is showing ineligible and below we can see that the quality update status report is divided into three parts very first one is healthy devices another one is not up to date devices and the third one is ineligible devices so healthy devices are the devices which are up to date or where the deployment is in progress or if we pause any deployment because of any reason those devices are considered as healthy devices and not up to date devices meaning that where the microsoft action is required and these devices includes non offered no heartbeat policy blocking updates or in progress stuck or because of any other reason so if any machine is a part of not up to date status so microsoft is going to take the action on those devices and they will fix the issue now the third one is the ineligible devices where customer action is required and these devices include insufficient uses low connectivity out of disk space not deployed not on supported windows addition or not on supported windows build and last one is intune sync is older than 5 days so we can see that i have one machine where the intune sync is older than 5 days so as an admin we have to take action on those devices either by refreshing the policy and and investigating why machine is not able to communicate with the intune and if you want to find the detailed report we have to go to the reports and under this report we have four types of reports all device reports all device reports historical and eligible device report historical and the ineligible device report historical and all these three historical reports containing the data over the last 90 days so we are interested in checking the all device report so i am going to click on all device report and now we can see that report is showing two devices pc1 and pc2 pc test pc1 is the device where we deployed and installed the latest quality update and we can see that this machine is a part of test ring group and the update status of the device is healthy and that sub status is also showing as up to date and we can see that the os version is 19045 and the os revision version is this the other one test pc2 is is a part of deployment ring first and this device is ineligible and we know that why the machine is ineligible because the machine is not communicated to intune from last 5 days i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video